Get out, pal. She cast no spells, o on my honor. An elf's honor worth less than a man's shit. You seek someone, stranger? But it's chamomile and uh, goatweed. Yes, I She brought teas for stomach pain. They heard the legends of the White so Wall. She did make potions. Drew my connection. Another drifter in from Temeria. Walking about all door-faced, scaring decent folk. and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So... If you happen to get a break between drowners and ekema jigs, maybe you can help a little friend out. Where do you get this cabaret idea? It's been a dream for years. Ever since we went to see one in Oxenford. Remember? The dancer hanging from the chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and... I remember. How could you forget? And this place will be even better, I promise. That is, of course, if I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. Maybe the Vivaldis would give you a loan. I'd vouch for you. Funny you mention that. I went to see Vivaldi. You know what he said? Witchers are no good as guarantors. The risk of premature death is way too high. But I have another idea. I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? You know, I bought that wine for a reason. A long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. 
Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Old man Newman left me a gift last time. What? He never given me nothing but floppy diddly. He don't know how to give a crop of feet. Saying I'm not good at giving. 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 The last individual time. who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chive? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smash knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. No. Oh, just wanted you to meet my new pals before they bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shite without a shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. Word does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coal face with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal... About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance. Francis Bedlam, the king of beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. Rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arse white won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one of a kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed? Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Uh, nothing hurts as much as life. Arr! Looking for a thrush. Let's play Burton the Witch! Yay! Yeah, she could be the witch! Don't wanna be a witch! Got my eye on you, one one. Oh, it's 
clear of the eternal fire. who fled Bella. Do not, I repeat, do not come any closer. You lazy the pants are strapping the mug to the working man. Ah, so good to see you. You and Dudu know each other well? Yes, though he's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant once? Mm -hmm. Dudu always had a penchant for enterprise. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. Precisely. I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, the good in him will always emerge. Bloodthirsty tyrants and vicious assassins. He played them so poorly. That must be why. Whereas he always made for an excellent trusted servant or ghost of the old king. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. But Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Don't know who you're looking for, but you won't mind. Mum's an old succubus. I wish my man was brave as you. So glum. The old hag holding out on you. Hmm. I cannot imagine. 
captured the city of Demir's town. Captured and displayed in the sideshow of a circus. Well, it could be quite profitable. Is just to have that sort wandering the city. Ah, finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, and your mask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But? No time, Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Tremble. Flaxen-haired wench. Um, bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. No, not the... Crimson Avenger. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Dandelion! I mean, Crimson Avenger! Ah, shit! Uh, you're better than I thought. The Crimson Avenger triumphs again. My hair! Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar for my collection. Come inside. I shall bandage you up. Be gone, vile bandit! Or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless! Two of you, sod off. But Master Hanson, we're not in no one's way. Not bothering us out. You're bothering me. Git. I will put bolts through both your necks. A deserter from the Skoya Ten.
Swix. KSN. Zed's inside, and in hot water. Gotta find another way in. Dead. Find it? No. Oh, Duke will be peeved we didn't get his head to spill where he keeps a ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the ism, Grimcard. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! Tiana from the Square Tail deck. 
Wonder how much this card's worth. Ledger might be worth snooping around for. They were looking for something. They were looking for something. They were looking for something. Either Zed had an ornery cat, or there's a hidden compartment under there. Hmm. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Kisses your ass today will bite it tomorrow. They ought to never let your kind in, no regret proper. I serve the eternal fire. <clears throat> Washed your hair lately. Oh man, Newman left me a gift last time. Go on, back in a man. Give me nothing on top of me. You don't know how to give, you can't receive. Saying I'm no good at giving. Zoltan, get out. Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt, if you don't mind. What can you tell me about Novigrad's underworld? I've got one concept for you. The Big Four. Siggy Reuven, the King of Beggars, Cleaver, and Whore Son Jr. What do you call a triumvirate, but with four individuals? No idea. Well, there are four, and they've carved the city into spheres of influence. Nothing happens without them knowing about it and approving it. Rumor is Whore Son recently quarreled with the others, but I know nothing more. You've been in town a while. Maybe you can tell me. Radovid and Emir. Why hasn't either taken the city? Excellent question. I believe I can clear the mystery up for you. War requires resources, wherewithal. Novigrad's a large port with a powerful fleet and a treasury overflowing with gold. All that makes it a tasty morsel. Tempting for both Redania and Nilfgaard. I understand. The city's walls are high. Its arsenals are full of weapons. Then you don't understand much. True, a siege be a long and grueling affair, but more importantly, everything that's valuable in Novigrad could disappear faster than a mayfly's dream. The Big Four's made it known that should things come to a head, the fleets flamble, and any assault on the city sure to touch off riots, during which the church's coffers could very well be looted bare. So, anyone wanting Novigrad's wealth, its ships, has no choice but to deal with its criminal underworld. About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! <laughs> the sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. One cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards?
Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. And believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Sides, I'm certain you snuffed his killers out on the spot, so why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Ah, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Ravi? Who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I gave him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Who's Caesar Bilzin? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse. Gaudiest eyesore in Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. Next time I mention card trading, be sure and bop me in the head with a wagon axe. Snake's tongue as well. nerve. Ones, the Danians, <laughs> not the same thing.
What'll it be? Farewell. Racial hygiene's as poor as their personal oh, hygiene. Winter. I've material for another ballot. Better. Hey, Whitey. Why'd your hair go white? Sure, he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi was just about to play for his life, and that. Uh... Oh, you got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broke. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Rav is on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? Agreed. <laughs> but I'm here, I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play, let's play!
Yes! Curb your enthusiasm, mate. And sit still, or you'll hurt yourself. But... But he won! So, now we'll play something else. Come on! Oh. Ah! Tallis card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might like. I'm in a hurry. The Natalis card, of course, here. Why'd your hair go white? I'm not about to delude myself to those skeleton butchers. Yeah. You're back. Got the coin. Gotta get more coin. You sure do. For I won't even whip me horse in a bath without payment in advance. Non human, are you? Look for your kind Something beyond unusual. the walls. What'll it be? What are you serving? Ah, the the oh, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Got the Natalis card. Excellent! Now we've just Caesar bills and to fleece, and we'll be home free. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. It certainly keeps the camp there. Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. So I'd Caesar never sell Frangilla. But don't you worry. 
He won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the Motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his already leaving home. Also why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vigo Varo at the top of your lungs. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go! Shivi! She's our Belzen. Remember our quarrel about who's king of the Pontar? The Pike's king of the Pontar. Ah, uh, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish. And I do not come empty-handed. Who's he? Well, him. Well, that's, that's Geralt. Does say Geralt fish? Yeah. Cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. And the Ponta! You betcha! Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! So what for Zanders and eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse as a clarinet. It just recently. I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavor shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme. Geralt? Care to chime in? How Xander taste to you? Like shit. All right, grab your rods, we're off to the Ponta. Can't let this drivel stand, not in my own home. Well then, did you hear Vibo Matilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life bait. Your night crawlers. Though the pike aren't as eager, do no way. Once, dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself? I'm not so sure. Hey, Geralt, what do you and your pals use up at Caer Morhen? Live bait. You see, Chibi, you'll make a good angler yet. In some 50, 60 years? <laughs> we'll wait and see. Get out! Go fetch us another bottle. Right. Can see the bottom of this one. So, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with you. Forget what happened last time. What about last time? Shouldn't he have yanked so hard? You were... Knife looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Drawer is open. Hmm. Hmm. Fits perfectly. 
Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Joachim Devet Skull. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Ah, here's Fringilla. Sultan, time we were on our way. Ah, I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We've a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him! And you two, get lost! Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, up to you, lads. Haven't they got all day? Oh, oh, I can use a fight. Explain this to Cleaver. I'd recommend a letter. Right. <laughs> Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Oh. Oh, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir, Joachim de Vet's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, shit! Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Ugh, if you say so. So, got the full set of cards. What now? Now we collect a shite load of coin for them. Let's go. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's of juke silk. No doubt about that. <laughs> you know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone, as long as they pay. I have cleansed them all. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get the king of beggars out of my beard. Ah, at last. 
I fear the body's gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome? Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt, bastards getting away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse and I'll tend to the others. What? Can't understand a word. Might as well stop. Drowners. You could use a witcher. Ha ha. Highly amusing. If... If I give you the coin, will you leave me be? Yeah. You can go. If you're able. Ha. What are my chances? With these wounds? Not high. So long. So, you get them? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? No, I let him go. Oh, I knew I should have gone with you. You know he has it in for me. He'll be doubly determined now. Doubt it. Think he's likely to quit the business. If he gets out of there alive. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Kinda curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent! I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Zoltan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontar. 